this man is gonna sit up and ask me so What's up you guys? My name is Jessica or you can call me Jess. Either one works. And today we're going to be getting into another story time. So if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button, like this content, share it if you must. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you for tuning in to my video. I appreciate it so much and we're going to get into today's video. Okay, so before I get into the story, just a quick disclaimer. I have no beef with this person that I'm about to tell you all about. He is... Um, someone that i used to be friends with obviously by the title of the story but yeah i don't have any problems with him we're just not friends anymore so i feel okay like retelling this story pretty much so you know if he sees it one day um no hard feelings i'm just retelling my story and how i saw it so anyway let's get into it so um we're gonna call him lukewarm so me and lukewarm were friends in freshman year i i was a freshman but he was um i think he was a sophomore or something so he was older than me so he had already been there like a year before me so yeah he was a sophomore i was a freshman so boom we met in met in my freshman year um you know we started hanging out and it was on some chill stuff like when i say we were friends like and that was my friend i really did consider him back then a friend so me and him we would just kick it like we would hang out in the rec room we would um go to the what's it called go to like the campus activities like the campus i said activities the campus events like you know the events where they'd be giving out free food like, you know all that stuff we used to go to all that stuff together and i would bring my friends along and like my, my other friends that i had made at that time and he was you know he was cool with all of them too so everything was fine like we all used to have a good time together i even used to go over to his apartment on campus and we used to kick it there but not like that just Literally, like, it would be me and my friends over there, or it would be, like, me and him, and we'd just be chilling, watching TV, you know, all that good stuff, whatever. <laughs> Obviously, we had, like, a pretty, I would say, close relationship. Like, he used to walk me home all the time, and, you know, I didn't have, like, um, I mean, I did have a boyfriend, like, later that year, like, later, like, towards... I'm trying to think later like at the end of fall basically like we were friends like since the beginning of fall which is the beginning of the semester and I got a boyfriend like towards the end of the semester but me and him you know we still continue to be cool we still continue to be friends but um you know he used to walk me home like every now and then and well he used to walk me home a lot and we never had obviously like any of the same classes or anything because again we were I think we were studying different things and then plus I was a freshman and he was a sophomore so we just we were in different classes so you know like we were cool everything's fine we used to go downtown together like I mean we used to do a lot of stuff together like we used to go downtown um I'm pretty sure we used to talk on the phone we probably I'm assuming but honestly I was over like his place a lot and we used to spend a lot of time on campus so I doubt that we were like on the phone that much because we saw each other in person a lot and he would always tell me you know like i'm a really cool person like i fuck you like you know like i really like hanging out with you you know like all all that good stuff so i'm like yeah you know you know me i'm like yeah you know like you're cool too like you're my friend i'm i'm just thinking that he's just my friend that's literally what i'm thinking in my mind this entire time i don't remember i wish i could remember what day this happened i'm sorry like i'm a little fuzzy on the details when it comes to that but basically he would tell me that you know like he thought some of my friends were cute and y'all know how it is like when y'all have a homeboy like sometimes he thinks that your friends are cute whatever and but he wasn't trying to make no serious i think moves or anything he was just saying like oh yeah some of your friends are cute like blah, blah, blah. but you know like i think you're attractive and stuff like you're very attractive and i was like yeah thanks like i appreciate it you know i'm just accepting compliments like it's nothing and one day like we're chilling like in the dorm room um i said dorm room his apartment room so we're chilling in his apartment and you know this was a day where it was just me and him because normally like i said me and my friends would be in his room like in his apartment he had no problem with me bringing my friends over there like we would watch netflix together he would be or me and my friends would just be talking and he would be playing the game vice versa like you know like all that good stuff so this particular day it was just me and him so me and him um you know me and him are like kicking it whatever talking and then all of a sudden y'all all of a sudden 
oh, this is so, I remember this moment. Like I said, I wish I could remember like if this was like a specific day or like a special day or something, but no, it was just a normal, regular, regular day. Like it was really a chill day. I think I came there from after class or something. Like I came straight to his apartment. This man is gonna sit up and ask me, so um, how would you feel like if I went down on you? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Huh? You done lost your damn mind. When you get your damn mind, you call me. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't say whoa, but in my mind, I was like, what the, like, where did that come from? Like, I thought we were supposed to be friends. I'm like, just one, cause if y'all, I'm about to tell y'all. I have a hard time making, I've always had a hard time making like male friends. Like it was really hard for me to find solid, genuine male friendships because usually they would end up liking me or like, you know, most of the time it was because they would end up liking me. And y'all know, I was just trying to have a friendship. Like I wasn't trying to do anything reckless or crazy and be friends with benefit. No, I just wanted a friend. I just wanted a male friend because I already was dealing with a lot of issues with guys around those times anyways. So I wasn't trying to, you know, deal with that with my friends. If I wanted a friend, I just wanted a friend. That was it. So, you know, like me and him were just supposed to be friends. And I'm sure, of course, he still thought of me as a friend, even when he asked me that, because, you know, guys can still want to do things to you and still be friends with you. Like they can still be friends with you as if nothing happened. It's just the fact that he asked me like out of the blue like that. I mean, there was, we weren't even talking about doing things. That's another thing. Like you gotta be careful when you have male friends and when y'all talk about like sex or sexual things of that nature, like you gotta be careful because they could just think that you want to do that with them. I mean, if you want to do that with them, then all right, that's on you. But you know, if you're not trying to do that with them, I would highly suggest not to talk about those things with your male friends because it's like, you know, mm, it's just, it just comes off as, it's going to come off to them that you want to do something with them. Like you want them or you're interested in them doing those things to you but i had never really talked about sex like that with him like i if i did i talked about it in like a vague way like i didn't talk about it with him like in depth or anything it wasn't that you know that serious i believe so you know and i was still like i said getting to know like some people too because you know this was my freshman year and my friend um also had her suspicions about lukewarm um I'm not going to give her a name in this story just because she's not in this whole story. But basically, she told me that Luke Warm was like a weirdo and that she told me that he was, you know, I would be careful about him because, yeah, he's kind of weird. Like, I had a class with him, blah, 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 blah. Like, she told me basically that he was, she felt like he would be on some stuff, basically. Like, she had her little, you know, suspicions about him. So I'm not thinking anything of it. Y'all know, I like to give people, well, back then I gave people the benefit of the doubt. So I'm like, if you didn't do anything to me or you didn't show me any, you know, crazy stuff or whatever, then okay, I will give you a chance. I don't have a problem with us being friends, whatever, it's fine. Like whatever you had in the past or whatever you've done to somebody, else, to somebody else, okay, you've done that. I may keep it in mind, but I'm not gonna completely count that against you. So I told her like, you know, thanks for the heads up, thanks for the warning, but you know, me and him are so cool. Like he hasn't done anything to me. And this was before, I can't remember if this was before he had popped the question or this was like afterwards, I forgot, but she had told me basically that she had her suspicions about him, whatever. So she wasn't surprised, basically. And I was like, okay, yeah, so let me go ahead and, um, you know, like let him know. After he told me that, obviously I said no, forgot to say, I said no. I was like, no, I wouldn't think anything of it because like it wouldn't happen. Like that wouldn't happen between us because, you know, I'm, I don't feel that way about you. We're just friends, you know, again, the friend zone thing. So. I told him that I was honest with him and he was like, okay, like he didn't take it to my knowledge. I don't think he took it that hard. Like he didn't take it hard at all. He was just like, oh, okay. Um, at least from my knowledge, like he didn't take it hard. Um, and the funny thing is like, we had stopped being friends like after like the end of that year, like by the end of my freshman year, basically we were no longer like friends or anything. Like we were kind of starting to distance, you know, whatever, but we just weren't friends at one point. And that's pretty much like, what happened like he wanted to basically you know do the thing with me he wanted to explore down there see what, what was what was going on down there 
<laughs> you wanted to see what was going on down there and i'm just like no that's not what's happening that's not going down like you know I'm just, I'm not doing it. Like, you know, I just felt some type of way about that, especially with friends. And if I'm friends with you, I'm friends with you. I'm not gonna be on some stuff. Cause if I really wanted you and I really wanted you to do things and I wanted you to make a move, I would have made a move on you, you know, or I would have let you make moves on me. But I didn't feel that way about him. And I still don't to this day, lukewarm. I still don't feel that way about you, but you know, I don't have any like, weird feelings towards you or anything like that or i don't feel no type of way about you it's just that that was just hella random to me at that time period like especially since we were friends like i get it we were comfortable with each other but we weren't that comfortable with each other for him to be like asking me no type of stuff like that that was just crazy to me at that time that was just weird so yeah that's basically what happened with me and my friend at the time so if you guys enjoyed the story time definitely um like this content share uh, subscribe i really appreciate it thank you so much for all the support you guys have given me lately i truly truly appreciate it and i also want to say that um i'm gonna continue to make more content and eventually again i will be working on another uh, mental health video so just stay tuned for that and yeah i'm gonna see you guys in the next one um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.